Y'all, I'm becoming a heart fan. You know, this started off with me buying a battery. I bought the battery and a charger. And I was like, well, one day I'll get something. You know, I was doing a little hyper tough because the same thing. I bought a battery on the clearance aisle. And so now I'm about so much hard stuff. And I'm steady buying hard stuff. And I saw this. And I was like, man, I always wanted one of these because you actually get uh I already took out the box, y'all. You actually get this, which is a 20-foot hose with a little uh, filter on it. So you can stick it in a bucket of water. You can stick it in a lake if you like on the lake and got your little four-wheel or your side-by-side -side dirty. You can spray that off right there and, you know, take it on home. It's got a little adapter there, which I'm going to use today to hook it to the water hose. I don't got a bucket right now. I got plenty of buckets, but they got something in it. And it comes with this little foam joint right here. You put this little foam stuff in it. I'm going to try using something else and see would it make anything foam. But it's this foam stuff you use to make the car get soapy. And it got something else, but I don't know what. What the hell did I do with it, people? I think I put it in the box and I throw it away. Hold on. That's exactly what I was finna do. It comes with this wheel brush. So you stick it in there and, and it and uh, it hooks to the damn device itself. So it's sticking in and the water keeps coming out cleaning it so it won't just uh, get dirty and gotta keep rinsing it off. Let the little door open. Well, see that little door right there? I gotta use my, my third hand. Get it? My third hands. You can't see it, but it's the third hand. <laughs> but the battery going there keeps from getting wet. It's got a little lock on it that I didn't close back up. And I put it together. It had like a piece of one, another piece of one. Then on the end here, it's got three nozzles. So you don't have to actually, like, keep changing. All you got to do is twist to the next one. Boom, and it clicks in place. You got a 15 degree, you got a rinse nozzle, and you also have a turbo nozzle. But this thing actually is bigger than what you would think it is when you're looking at the box. I was thinking it was the size of a uh, uh, impact wrench that I, you know, I already got the impact. But when I took, now open that box and saw, I was like, man, this thing is huge. But I always wanted one of these, not this name brand. I always wanted one that was, uh, I forgot who it was made by, uh, oh man, Works. When I first seen it on TV with Works, I was like, man, that is pretty neat. You could just be out anywhere. You could be on a boat. Stick that thing in that water and rinse off whatever you need. You know, your shoe, your equipment, anything. I mean, it's, it's neat. And I saw one on sale, one other, there was a D-Walk. And I was like, I don't need that. And then I saw this one, I was like, man, I'm getting it. I done seen too many of them. Plus, I got the heart battery. Now, I'm going to have to get another heart battery. I thought I had more than one. But I also, I, I got two, uh, what's that other name brand? The Tough name brand, whatever it is. And if you didn't know, heart is made by a company I think called TTI. TTI is the one that make Milwaukee. They make Ryobi. They make Hoover. They make some more stuff. But let's get to business. Like I say, I'm gonna come in a heart fan. I'll show you a couple heart things in a second here. All right, see, so got the little 20 volt battery. That's it. Got your little quick connect adapter. Put the holes on there. That's what I'm gonna do, like I said. Put that right there for a second. Uh, let's see. Uh, we got the hard flashlight, a hard vacuum cleaner. As you can see, I put the kit over there already. We got a hard air compressor, which is a good air compressor that you can just dial in whatever number you want. 
and it cuts off automatically. We got, no, that ain't hard. We got, I use this today, which is the buffer orbital, and then we got the small buffer orbital. And come around to this little dirty table over here. We got some odds and ends hard bits. That's hyper tough. I think the rest of that hyper tough, y'all. It's something else over there that was hard. But what I'm gonna do, this is what I'm gonna do. I don't know, I don't think that stuff is that what, what I'm needing. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use this uh hydrophobic car wash, see if it foam up. And I'm just going to wash the smart car and wash the uh, mats out of my truck. Since I detailed my truck today, this ain't nothing here. This should have been used a long time ago. But they got a hard charger. too so you can dial in how much soap you want to come out of here but get out here and wash this car Attachment on here. Spray, spray. See clue. Okay, like I said, I don't know if this is gonna do any worth anything right here. But I'ma see. Quick click. It's got a soap in the I'm gonna start on low first. Oh man, it is foaming up.
Then I'm gonna change this out. Add the nozzle back to it. Boom. Let's put it on. Uh, I'm just gonna put it on rinse for right now. See what it do. Put it on 15 degree. I'm gonna put it on turbo. I don't like turbo. <laughs> Now that 15 degree got a little sting to it. Got a little power. I said done a pretty good job. Got a little glisten to it. Can you get any cooler than that?